Therefore, it's 1 Corinthians chapter uh, 7, verse uh, 29 says, But this I say, brethren, the time is short. So far from now, so that from now on, even those who have wives should be as though they have none. Those who weep as though they did not weep, those who rejoice as though they did not rejoice, those who buy as though they did not purchase, and those who use this world as not misusing it, for the form of this world is passing away. Dear friends, uh, Paul is saying, listen, learn to be content with whatever position you find yourself in. If you're a married man, live as if you're not married. It does not say that you should not uh, try and enjoy your wife and, you know, uh, enjoy one another. This is not what Paul is saying. He's saying even those, if you're in a business, live as if you have never purchased anything. If you weep, live as you have never wept. What Paul is de definitely saying, he's saying, guys, the life and the time that we have here is very, very important. Time is short. Time cannot be bought back. Whatever you do with your time will determine where you're going after you leave this earth. This earth here is a tryout. Uh, whatever seed you sow, dear friends, you will reap. Whatever things you do with your time, are you using that uh, great commodity time that God has given you on uh, trying to be rich? Are you trying to be popular with the time? Are you using the time that God has given you as a seed to seek the things of this world, to live worldly? If that's what you invest with your time, it will pass away. And I would say, dear friends, it's not a wise investment to invest uh, all your life and all the time that God has given you in and with material things. Because the Bible said that this world is passing away. Hello, those of us who are here right now, I guarantee you that for the next 60 or 70 years, you will not be here. If you are married, the next hundred years, your wife will be passed away. Your children will pass away. And your money that you work very hard for will indeed pass away. We realize that that is passing away quickly and quicker than we ever imagined. So, dear friends, what are you doing with your time? Are you investing the great time that God has given you? Time cannot be bought back. Think about it. Are you loving your children the way you should? Are you being kind to them? Are you teaching them the word of God? Are you telling them about eternity? Are you teaching them eternal things? Are you having devotion with them daily? Are you pounding the word of God in their head every day? Are you living a life that pleases them every day? Are you happy that you are alive today because you have made up in your mind that you are going to invest this time that God has given you? Dear friends, don't go, try to climb the success ladder with, the ladder with your time. Don't try to get rich and become a millionaire with your time because if you do that, your heart will be on your riches. Your heart will be on the things that are passing away. The Bible said that if riches increase, do not set your heart in it. Do you know that there are many Christians today that they don't, uh, can't sleep because of the money that they have? They are focusing on money. Money has taken over their heart. That's a, not a very wise thing to do. I've seen lots of people buy great big properties and large properties and invest lots of money, go away in the Caribbean and live great life. And they have died and not enjoy the time that they thought they would have enjoyed with those 
material things. Listen, dear friends, don't let the devil sell out your soul. Don't sell out your soul, eternal soul, for a cup of soup. Your birthright is great. Use your time wisely. Make sure that you pray. Make sure that you're seeking God. Make sure that you turn away from sin. Let not this flesh control you. Let not the things of this world control you. Don't sit in a church and let them, you know, let uh, individuals uh, put money on your mind or put the things of this world on your mind. You, you have a life to live. Live your life with holiness, in holiness to the Lord. Time is running out. And Paul is saying to the Corinthians, listen, if you're married, that is noble, but live as if you're not. Because the main reason for life is not about marriage. Some of the things that we make a big deal of is not about it. There's a greater uh, thing to be done. There's a greater purpose for your existence than just focusing on marriage. You have a time, a chance to live forever with God. You have a chance to be in the presence of the Almighty God, the Creator of the heavens and the earth, forever and ever. And you should not allow this world that is passing away to dampen that opportunity. So Paul is saying, even if you are not married, don't allow that to come upon you as it's a big deal. Enjoy your life whether you're married or not. Live holy whether you're married or not. If you're in business, don't focus on making more profit. This world and the economy is passing away. So dear friends, I trust today that you will spend your time wisely. I trust today that every second that the Lord has given you, that you will find, use that time to worship. You will use the time to ask God to make you the apple of his eye. You will use that time to ask the Lord to hide you under the shadow of his wings. You will use that time to live loving with others. You will use that time to let your light shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify the Father in heaven. You will use that time to bear fruit because I tell you, by their fruit you shall know them. And if you are not bearing fruit of holiness unto God, when you die, God is looking and on his garden to see the vineyard, to see if you have used your time wisely. And when he look and he see that all you use your time to do was to enjoy life, was to go to the health, wealth, prosperity, preaching, and you have enjoyed it all. And you die a pauper. You die not having any treasure in heaven. God will say, oh, foolish. Don't be a foolish virgin. Don't be so foolish to live this life, carry this lamp of this life without the anointing of God. Don't be foolish, dear friends. Think. Go to the cemetery. The wise die. The wealth, the wealthy die. The kings, kings and priests, great men are all over the world. They have died. They have passed away. Do you think you're not going to die? Most people die sooner than they thought they were. Most people had plans to repent. Most people had plans to serve God. Most people had plans. But what they did, they have put it off until later. You don't have later. You have the time now. Now is the day of salvation. If you hear this message, turn to the Lord. Read your Bible. Life is too long. It's too short. And eternity is too long to be wrong. I'm warning us again. Make use of our time. May the mercy of God be with us all.